Drei Ecken, drei Ecken hat mein Hut. Und hat er mir nicht drei Ecken, dann ist es nicht mein Hut. Welcome to yet another episode of Opa's Corner. So, as we always do, let's start off with a few stories. For a weekend break, three old college buddies go down to Tijuana, Mexico to enjoy a reunion. They hadn't seen each other for quite a few years, so the stories were long, the laughs were loud, and the booze really did flow that night. They had such a good time, but when they woke up the next morning, they found themselves in jail. None of them could remember a thing. Within a few hours, they were taken to court and were sentenced to be executed the following day. The following morning, they were escorted to death row. Bill was first up to be strapped into the electric chair. Bill was asked if he had any last words. Sure, Bill responds. I'm from the Catholic University of America, and I believe in the power of Almighty God. I am innocent, and God will intervene. The executioner throws the switch, but nothing happens. The prison staff can't believe this turn of events. They beg Bill for forgiveness and release him. Next up for the chair is Gary. He is strapped in, and once again he is asked if he had any last words. Well. I'm from the Harvard Law School, says Gary, and I believe that the power of natural justice will intervene because I'm innocent. Once again, the executioner throws the switch, but nothing happens. Again, the prison staff can't believe this turn of events. They beg Gary for forgiveness and release him. Finally, Mike is strapped into the chair. And once again, he is asked if he had any last words. Well, says Mike, I have a PhD in electrical engineering from the Massachusetts Institute of Technology. And I can tell you now, you won't be executing anyone if you don't plug this thing in. An elderly man in Phoenix calls his son in New York and says, I hate to ruin your day, but I have to tell you that your mother and I are divorcing. Forty-five years of misery is enough. Pop, what are you talking about? The son screams. We can't stand the sight of each other any longer, the old man says. We're sick of each other and I'm sick of talking about this. So you call your sister in Chicago and tell her. And he hangs up. Frantic, the son calls his sister, who explodes on the phone. They're not getting divorced if I have anything to do about it, she shouts. I'll take care of this. She calls Phoenix immediately and screams at the old man. You are not getting divorced. Don't do a single thing until I get there. I'm calling my brother back and we'll both be there tomorrow. Until then, don't do a thing. Do you hear me? And hangs up. The old man hangs up his phone and turns to his wife and says, Okay, they're coming for Thanksgiving. Now, what do we tell them for Christmas? Walter took his wife Ethel to the state fair every year, and every time he would say to her, Ethel, you know that I'd love to go for a ride in that helicopter. But Ethel would always reply, I know that, Walter, but that helicopter ride is $50, and $50 is $50. Finally, one year, they went to the fair, and Walter said to Ethel, Ethel, you know I'm 87 years old now. If I don't ride that helicopter this year, I may never get another chance. 
once again, Ethel replied, Walter, you know that helicopter is $50. And $50 is $50. This time, the helicopter pilot overheard the couple's conversation and said, Listen, folks, I'll make a deal with you. I'll take both of you for a ride if you both stay quiet for the entire ride and not say a word. I won't charge you, but if you say just one word, it's $50. Walter and Ethel agreed, and they went up in the helicopter. The pilot performed all kinds of fancy moves and tricks, but not a word was said by Walter or Ethel. The pilot did his deftifying tricks over and over again, but still there wasn't one peep out of them. And when they finally landed, the pilot turned to Walter and said, Wow, I've got to hand it to you. I did everything I could to get you to scream or shout out, but you didn't. I'm really impressed. Walter replied, Well, to be honest, I almost said something when Ethel fell out. But you know, fifty dollars is fifty dollars. And that's all for the stories. And now for the funnies. <laughs> and now, this week's funnies. And though we'll never know just why Dave wanted to cross the road, we can rest assured that he is now, at last, on the other side. Tonight's English as a Second Language class has been canceled. He surprised a Hamburglar. There was a struggle, and he sustained three broken McRibs and a McDouble fractured humerus. Camelot, new and used. Conrad grew to resent the four calling birds his true love gave to him. Do you know what this is? It's the phone bill! The real reason dentists have lots of money. Church mice, we'd like to talk to you about cheeses. I run every day religiously. When no one was looking, Irwin literally took the stand in his kleptomania trial. Son, there are two kinds of people in this world. Those who are good at math, those who are good at English, and those who ain't good at neither. I hate my job. Oh, please. What can you tell me about my life? Get one. The spirits are gathering and are ready to speak. But first, a word from our sponsor, Charmin.
What is the meaning of life? Have you tried Googling it? Mr. Ed spills his guts. And then I see Wilbur go around to the back of the barn carrying the shovel. And he's got this wild look in his eyes. And he's like real nervous. And then I noticed he's trying to bury a big plastic bag, which first I figured is just full of manure. But then I start to wonder what the hay is going on. And then... I don't know, Hansel. It doesn't look gluten-free. Jet Fighters of the Future Ha! Huh. Ain't a rattler, Jake. You got one of them Maraca players down your bag, and he's probably more scared than you. And what's your story? If you ain't a mutineer, then what the hell are you? The real reason dinosaurs became extinct. Punctuation police. Furniture removals. What? Noah's greatest ordeal. Will you hurry up? The kitty is punching out one of his lives. Our new refrigerator has facial recognition. It knows when you've exceeded the amount of times you're allowed to open it. Four basic personality types. The glass is half full. The glass is half empty. Half full. Oh, no, wait. Uh, half empty. Uh, half full. What was the question? Hey, I ordered a cheeseburger. And that concludes the funnies for this week. My hood, der hat drei Ecken. Drei Ecken. Hat mein Hut und hat er mir nicht drei Ecken, dann ist es nicht mein Hut.